Well, hello, and welcome back to the kitchen again. Um, today I'm going to do, some people would call it an appetizer, but we like to have it with holidays. Generally, Thanksgiving and Christmas, we have these bacon-wrapped green beans. So what I've done is I bought probably a pound or so of fresh green beans, and I've snapped the ends off to where I'll have some long bundles, because you bundle four or five beans together, then you wrap them with bacon, put a toothpick in them, and then you put a marinade on them overnight, and then I'll bake them in the oven um, in the morning and get the bacon real crisp, and it's wonderful. So I just thought I would show y'all what I'm doing. I'm gonna blanch these for about three minutes. I've got my water boiling, I'm just going to put my green beans in and set the timer, and then I'll drain them, and I'll bring y'all back when I start bacon wrapping them. Now, you can buy whole green beans in a can, drain them, and use those. And I've even used the cut ones um, out of a can. You can buy whole frozen ones. You just need green beans to wrap bacon around. So, I'm going to get these in the pot to blanch a little bit, and then I'll bring you back and show you how I wrap them up and get the marinade on them. Okay, while my beans are uh, blanching, I'm going to bring you up closer. This is my bacon, and I'm going to cut it in half and use a half or a third of a piece per bundle. I have to get my toothpicks out. But I've melted one stick of butter in the microwave, and to that I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of soy sauce. <clears throat> and then you add three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar and that's the marinade that you pour over the beans and let them marinate in overnight in the refrigerator and um, get the flavors all soaked around them and all and then in the morning I'll bring them out and uh, put them into the oven and bake them until at about 400 until my bacon is crisp and they're so good so let me finish getting my beans ready and uh, according to how many I've got, I may have to mix up one more batch, but I'm going to see if this will do it. And uh, I'll start wrapping them. So it's just beans and bacon, a teaspoon of soy sauce, three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one-half of a cup of butter, which is one stick. So, Okay, as you can see in this bowl, I've already started wrapping some of them. And I'm getting, uh, I'm dividing the bacon and stretching it, and I'm putting a, th a third to the grouping. So I'm getting five or six beans, and I ended up cooking these probably 10 or 12 minutes. You just wrap your bacon around them and secure it with a toothpick and put them in your pan so you can pour the marinade over them. There's nothing to it. So I've already done a bunch of them. I'm going to do a couple for y'all and then I'll bring you back when I get it done and I'm ready to put my marinade on. But this bacon will get real crisp and the uh, the beans are delicious. Uh oh. Got me about three toothpicks that time. And this is hickory smoked and it already smells good, not even marinated or put into the oven. It smells wonderful. about got it whipped here. We'll think we're having Thanksgiving or Christmas because that's usually when we have these or if we have a gathering that we want something special. But they're sure good. Told y'all I'm going to be showing you some stuff between now and Christmas that you can use for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Make your holidays special. <coughs> It's good to have something that everybody looks forward to. Ours look forward to pumpkin rolls and the green bean bundles, and we have uh, we have some memories we we look forward to. One of my grandsons is a pumpkin lover, so 
So he always looks forward to pumpkin rolls. Put all these little pieces. Now this is what it's like if, if all you have out there in your pantry is the cut green beans. You have a bunch of little bitty bundles like this. And, and I've done that before. I've used just the cut green beans. Okay, I've got them all in the pan and I'm fixing to pour the marinade over them. Get them covered and in the refrigerator. And what'll seem like magic, the next video, the next frame, y'all will be seeing uh, green bean bundles going in the oven. It'll be hours in the fridge first. They will have had a good cool nap. Let's see here what we got. I just want some of it on every one of them. Some of that put on that one. They've all got some of it on them, so that's going to be good. All right, I'm just going to cover this and let it marinate overnight in the refrigerator. And then I will bring y'all back in the morning and we will bake them off and you can see what they look like. And you're just going to wish you had a bite of them. I'll see y'all in the morning. So this is something that y'all need to try. This is so easy. You just have to marinate it overnight or for eight hours or so in the ice box. But they're really a good side dish to uh, to a meal, not just a special occasion. Now, we usually have them every Thanksgiving and Christmas, and if I do a big Easter dinner, I fix them. But um, sometimes you just get hungry for something a little bit special. You can make these all year long. Now, I've got several uh, good recipes coming up. But uh, I'm not sure, but I may start doing one every other day just for the rest of the summer because I'm supposed to go on vacation with my daughter and I'm going to have to do some ahead to be able for that two weeks to have videos. So if you come on here one morning and there's not one, just come back the next morning because it will be every other day. But I may continue every day. Like I said, I may go to every other day. So don't run away on me. Come back. And then we'll get back on a regular schedule when school starts again. Hope y'all have a blessed day. I hope you make something good. Put it on your supper table. And visit with your family and make some memories. And we'll have another good recipe coming up shortly.